hello students uh, this is the third video on valuation of shares till now i have made two videos in the first video i have given a basic uh, introduction need and importance of valuation of shares factors influencing the valuation of shares and the methods of valuation of shares that is the theory part in the second video i have explained the net assets method and how to solve the problems under net assets method in the various situations with the two problems i have explained the concept uh, i will provide the link of those videos in the i button as well as in the description box please do watch those videos before watching this video to understand better for better this valuation of shares chapter right in this video i will cover the second method of valuation of shares that is earning capacity or yield value method uh, explanation part as well as three solved problems will be three problems will be solved here to understand uh, to make you understand how to solve the problems in various situations this video is helpful for bcom bba mcom mba cscs and cma students so earning capacity or yield basis are market value methods the three names are available you can examiner can use any name you must be in a position to understand uh this method is very significant as far as the exams are concerned the term rate of return here means the return which a shareholder earns on his investment it is expressed in terms of percentage the rate of return can be further classified as rate of dividend and rate of earnings in these two ways we can calculate the value of share under this method right right valuation based on rate of dividend when you talk about the rate of dividend the small uh, category of shareholders who purchase the small number of shares small block of shares those people will be very much interested in how much the dividend is paid by the company therefore those type of shareholders will be very much interested in this method and they will apply this method even the value of share under this method can be calculated as value of share is equals to the formula is dividend in rupees per share that is dividend per share divided by normal rate of return normal rate of return will be given in the question itself into 100 so this is the basic formula for calculation calculation of value of share that is dividend per share divided by normal rate of return into 100 normal rate of return will be called as nrr or we can use one more formula that is expected rate of return that is ERD divided by normal rate of return that is normal rate of return or normal rate of dividend can also be given into paid up value of share either of these two formulas any one of these two formulas we can apply and we can get the answer but the question arises which formula should be applied I am clearly stating you here that the application of formula is entirely based on the information that you have provided in the question based on that you will select the formula you need to apply and you need to get the answer after reading the question itself we can identify which formula can be utilized right next uh, valuation based on rate of earnings this is also very important uh, the shareholders who purchase bulk quantity of shares they will be more interested in uh, enhancing the value of their portfolio value of uh, their portfolio in the sense they wanted to increase the value of share they will be more interested in earning capacity of the business not in case of not the distribution of the shares uh, distribution of the dividends right so the value of uh, this category this type of shares can be calculated with the help of following formulas that is uh, the formula is value of share is equals to expected rate of return ERR divided by NRR that is normal rate of return into paid up value of share as I told you NRR will be given in the question whereas paid up value of share you can find in the question itself whereas you need to calculate expected rate of return how to calculate expected rate of return if it is not given in the question if it is given no no problem you can directly apply the formula if it is not given simply you can calculate by applying this formula expected rate of return is equals to expected profit divided by equity capital into 100 so with the help of this formula you can calculate expected rate of return right so we will proceed with the questions so we will take up this question uh, from the following particulars calculate the value of share that is 1010 percent preference shares of rupees 10 each 1 lakh 
40,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, rupees 8 paid up, 2 is final call. Still it is outstanding, unpaid. Expected profit before tax is 2,50,000, tax rate is 40%, transfer to general reserve every year is 20%. In the sense, company is having the policy to transfer every year 20% of the profits to general reserve. Normal rate of return, as I told you, directly will be given in the question 18%. It can be any name can be given, but you can understand once you read the question that is NRR is 18%, right, in this question. So, when you come to the solution, how to solve this problem? Uh, value of equity share. So, here we do not have any information of dividend, right. Hence, we need to take up the formula rate of earnings method, right. So, formula is expected rate of return divided by normal rate of return into paid up value of share. This is the formula for calculation of value of share. So, in this question, we have expected rate of return that is 18% and normal rate of return, sorry, normal rate of return is 18%, expected rate of return we do not have and paid up value of share is given in the question that is 8. So, what we have to do in this question, we need to calculate expected rate of return. So, now calculation of ERR, how to calculate ERR, we have a formula for calculation of ERR that is expected profit divided by equity capital into 100. So expected profit, so e expected profit we do not have, we need to calculate expected profit, equity capital we have that is 3,20,000 into 100, right. But we need to calculate expected profit, how to calculate expected profit for this, we can prepare a table, we have provided that the expected profit before tax is 2,50,000 minus tax at the rate of 40%, 1 lakh, then resultant figure is 1,50,000 profit after tax. From this, we have to deduct transfer to general reserve. How much? 20% as per the statement given in the question. Then it comes to 30,000, 1,50,000 into 20%, 30,000. Then we need to pay even preference shares dividend also at the rate of 10% on capital. So, 1 lakh is the capital on the 10% that will be 10,000. So, like this, if you pay the preference dividend, leftover profit is 1 lakh 10,000. Clear? This is called as our expected profit. So, we will take as numerator expected profit 1 lakh 10,000 divided by 3 lakh 20,000 is the equity capital into 100 is equals to we are getting 34.375 is what? our expected rate of return. Then in the main formula, we apply expected rate of return 34.375 as numerator. Then we will get the ultimate answer of the value of share that is 15.28 is the value of share, right? So this is the way we need to calculate. I hope I made you understand this question, right? We'll take up one more question very quickly. We will conclude the video, uh, right? From the following particular calculate value of shares, uh, that is 10,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, profit of the last 3 years, 70, 60 and 80. It is practice of the company to transfer 20% of the profit to reserves. Similar company sh shares, uh, shares of similar company quoted in the stock exchange yields 15%. So, what is this 15%? This is NRR. He can use any kind of a name, but you must understand this as NRR. Clear? So, we will come to the answer, the equity share, value of equity share is equals to formula, ERR by NRR into paid up value of share, ERR we do not know, NRR we know 15%, paid up value of share is 10, then calculation of ERR, how to calculate ERR, formula is expected profit divided by equity capital into 100, so expected profit we do not know, but equity capital is 1 lakh into 100. Therefore, calculation of expect, expected profit, calculation of expected profit. How to calculate? So, profit, average profit. So, last three years profit we have given that is 70, 60 and 80. We will make the average of these profits. That is 70,000 we get the average. From this, we will deduct transfer to reserve at the rate of 20%. We do not have any information regarding the tax. So, once you deduct transfer to reserve at the rate of 20%, leftover profit is 56,000. So, as we do not have any preferences, we cannot deduct the preference dividend even. So, this is our expected profit. You will apply this profit as numerator, then you will get expected rate of return is 56 percent, right? The same will be taken as numerator in the mere formula to calculate the value of share that is 56 divided by 15 into 100. Therefore, we, will, we get 37.33 is the value of share. So, this is the way we can calculate the value of share. Till now, in these two questions, we have used the formula rate of earnings, 
right one more formula we have discussed that is rate of dividend that formula we did not use because usage of formula is based on the information that provided in the question so in these two question information is provided based on rate of earnings right now we will take a one more question where we will see which formula we can apply so ascertain the yield value of share average rate of dividend declared by the company 20% normal rate of dividend declared by the companies engaged in the similar business this is nrd normal rate of dividend 15% paid up value of the share is 10 so as the question provides only the information of dividends then we can directly apply the formula based on rate of dividend so value of share is equals to expected rate of dividend that is erd by normal rate of dividend into paid up value of share so we can apply expected rate of dividend is 20 normal rate of dividend is 15 into paid up value is 10 therefore value of share is equals to 13.33 so like this we can easily calculate the value of share please bear in mind the formula which should be applied is based on the information given in the question clear i hope i made you understand the crux of this down the line i will make more videos on the valuation of shares wherein i will cover the long questions how the long questions will be asked in university examination and how to solve all the method for one problem one problem we will be given and we will be asked to do all the methods how to solve those problems we'll understand down the line videos right i will make further videos so i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more informative qualitative videos your subscription is highly significant please do subscribe and make uh, give me motivation kind of a thing to make more videos thank you very much